when you are living a what if life you don't live you only exist no experience been gained no immediate lesson has been learned because you are not taking any action some people may argue by not taking any action you are actually limiting your exposure to risks and disappointments Maybe it's true, maybe not, because by not taking any action, you are actually making a decision, a decision not to do something, because an inaction is actually a decision. Life is all about taking a series of decisions, big and small. Our success and failure in life depends on these decisions. So today's mission is to just do it. You see, I've been thinking of buying a house for like two years. I mean, I was ready to buy, and I still am, but I wasn't sure enough to pull the plug. My lease in New York City is almost up, so I have to live somewhere. And I know that I want space to plant my flowers and edibles again, and to be closer to nature. So I really have no more excuses to not taking an action. And I don't want to live a what if life anymore, wondering what my life would be like had I moved out of Manhattan this time. I am Pamela Jitnam Jung, and I'm on a mission to love and live fearlessly again. So today is day 15, approaching yourself to love and live fearlessly again. This week is week three, and we are purging from the what if BS. And we are house hunting today. Okay, so I still haven't found my dream home yet, but by going ahead to just do it anyway, I learn more about what I want and don't want because I used to own an older home before coming into this experience I had like certain expectations you know that I wanted a new construction because I didn't want to deal with issues related to older homes but today I actually come to realization that I might have changed I actually love the character of the older home especially a colonials which you know pretty much that was what I owned before and I totally hated it before but now maybe I'm willing to put in some more work and money um, to make it my style so one of the most common causes of this what if phenomenon is inaction inaction stems from many things like overthinking fears and anxiety like oh is this the right thing to do is this the right decision i don't know if i can do it i don't want to fail and yes the obvious cure to inaction as we all know it is to take action of course you know given that it's not like life and death decision which clearly you would need more time and think more thoroughly and be mindful about it but when it comes to typical day-to-day -day actions or um, actions that you can potentially take to that would lead you to your goals and your dream when you are committed to just do it anyway even on just small tasks or even when you are not 100% sure about that decision, knowing that taking actions bring you closer to becoming your ideal self, reaching your goals, even if you can't really see the results just yet. And when you are committed to just do it anyway, you force yourself to automatically do it instead, instead of thinking about it because thinking without action is not going to help you, right? So just do it anyway can help you. This is Coach Pop, and I'll see you tomorrow. If this video has some value to you, please like, subscribe, comment, and share below. Thank you. Bye.